All right, uh, let's try to find the slant asymptote of the following rational function. All right, so remember that the, uh, when a rational function has the numerator whose degree is one higher than the degree of the denominator, then it will have a slant asymptote. All right, so uh, let's try to find that. All right, step one, uh, we're going to carry out the long division, All right? So we're going to put the numerator here divided by denominator here, right? So we have to ask ourselves, uh, how many x squares can we squeeze into 3x cubed? So that will be 3x. So 3x times x squared uh, gives you 3x cubed. And then 3x times negative 5x gives you negative 15x squared. 3x times 2 gives you 6x. Then go through the subtraction. All right, these two guys cancel out. Negative 17x squared minus negative 15x squared. Uh, so it's going to be adding 15x squared. So you have a negative 2x squared. Uh, 16x minus 6x is 10x. Right? Then we'll bring down the uh, negative 7 here. Then we have to ask ourselves, um, how many x squared? Um, can we squeeze into negative 2x squared, right? So that will be negative 2. So negative 2 times uh, x squared gives you negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 5x gives you 10x. And a negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Then uh, carry out the subtraction. So these two guys cancel out and these two guys cancel out. So negative 7 minus negative 4 would be adding 4. So we have a remainder negative 3. All right. Uh, step 2, uh, we're going to rewrite f of x using the quotient and the divisor and also a remainder. All right. So f of x can be rewritten as the following. All right. So f of x is equal to all right, first you put the uh, quotient here, 3x minus 2, plus uh, remainder goes on top, and the divisor obviously goes on the bottom. All right, so this function is exactly the same function as the original f of x function. All right, but when you pay attention to the last term here, when x is a large number, this last term is going to be very close to 0. So it is actually negligible. So what we're going to do for the step three would be, I'm going to throw away this third term, then replace f of x by y. Then uh, the equation of the slant asymptote is y equals, just this part, 3x minus 2. Right? So this is the slant asymptote of this uh, function f of x. Right? Let's see if we can uh, uh, find out the, what it looks like on GeoGebra. All right, so I'm going to open up a GeoGebra here. I already uh, cheated. I already uh, typed in here. So here's the graph of uh, f of x. Right, it's kind of a funky picture here. Then here is the slant asymptote uh, y equals three x minus two in red. All right, so you can see that that this is a slant asymptote. The graph is getting closer, closer to the slant asymptote as x approaches the negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, so you can see that the graph is getting closer, closer to the slant asymptote there as well. All right? So that's what it looks like. All right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.